Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. Today I want to show you how to use so-called database notifications to achieve something like this. So you see the bell with the number and you can send notifications to your users with this functionality. So imagine a scenario you have a task list like to-do list and then admin assigns the task to the user. And then user after they log in, they would see the number one here and see that they are assigned a new task. So how does it work? So here I am logged in as an admin user and let's create a new task and assign it to a user called Bobby. And we assign it, we create it, everything is fine. And now in the database, we have a database table notifications which we refresh and we have a new database notification. It is assigned to notifiable type user and ID2, so user ID2 with some data and it is unread. Now, if we log in as that Bobby user, so here I am logged in as Bobby and as you can see the number one is here and if I click you have a new task with the name new task and here I can choose to mark all as red to clear or just click this here and then that number one changes to zero and in the database the notification table is cleared now so I've deleted the notification not just read it. Now how does it work in the code? If you take a look at the documentation of Filament, you can search for database notifications and land on this page and you would see that it uses Laravel notifications table under the hood. So on the back end, it actually is a Laravel feature, not Filament. So this is artisan command from Laravel, which creates the migration for that notifications table that you have seen with polymorphic relationships. And in Filament, you just need to add the behavior of showing that model on the top right. So in the terminal, what I did is that artisan command. Then I made an observer that is also a Laravel feature, not Filament. You can create those notifications from various places on Filament level, on Laravel level in the model, but I like observers personally. So this is what I did. In the task resource, there's nothing about notifications at all. Is just form and the table and then in the observer of the model I use notification function of filament and this is another kind of quick trick in Laravel features in Laravel files classes and eloquent stuff you can use stuff from filament as well so in this case I do notification make according to the filament documentation with title of the notification and who to assign that notification to in this case it's a relationship of task user so that is how you create that notification, assign that to a specific user, and then how to enable that database notification model window. It's very easy in Filament, but you will not find it in the database notifications here. Perhaps I should make a pull request here to the docs. This documentation section tells you about notifications as a separate package within Filament or within Livewire. But to enable the default notifications in the panel, there is another documentation section which basically says that you need to add this to admin panel provider or whatever is your panel provider. It just, as usual in Filament, it's quite often the case, you just to add one method somewhere and that somewhere is panel provider. So you just add database notifications and that's it. Then by magic, all that bell with numbers and model window appears automatically. You can read more in the documentation about notifications, how to send them, how to create that, and more parameters, how to receive. You can also use echo with sockets if you prefer. And this is, as I said, the part of documentation about notifications as a separate package, but also you may find that in the panel builder, in the configuration in here with a few more parameters as well. That's it for this quick demonstration. Subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this one and see you guys in other videos.